Hey guys, it's uh, Coach Lou. I just got done with um, the Asylum. Uh, I just finished game day and overtime. And these are two of the craziest workouts I have ever done. This is only my second time doing the two of them together. You do game day three times in the Asylum. It's only 30 days. And the second two times that you do it, you do it with a workout called overtime. And some of you may know that I had a, uh, a prior injury in both knees. I had torn my meniscus and I had surgery for that. So I've recovered, but at the advice of my doctor, who also happens to do insanity, I was told uh, it's better to be safe than sorry, and there are certain moves I have to modify. So i got to put my pride aside when I do certain things, uh, especially in overtime. But I want to talk about game day first. Game day is really exciting because in game day, you're doing moves that are very similar to things that you would do in other sports, such as uh, obviously things like running, which we do in all of our workouts. But there's he's he, Chanti has really gone to the extra mile to create a very well-rounded workout that kind of makes you feel like you're part of the Olympics and you feel like a champion. You're doing things that pertain to wrestling, to playing soccer, to playing football, to playing tennis. Even the swimming and surfing. He's got this one move where you're on your stomach and your core is engaged and you're you're you know, you're lifting your chest a bit and you're paddling, and then you gotta jump up in a stance that is reminiscent of somebody on a surfboard, and you do it a few times on the left and a few times on the right. And there's even some crazy moves that are uh, kind of like what you would do if you were playing tennis, uh, certain speed moves. But you know, when you put everything together I don't know about everyone else, but about a third of the way in, I start tanking. I start to get toasted. But I have to say, this time I made it through the entire DVD, and I only paused it once at about the 33-minute mark. I just needed to stop, and the world was spinning, and I just needed to wait till it stopped spinning, because that's how hard these workouts are. Um, the first time I did game day and overtime together, it took me about two and a half hours to do them. Now, keep in mind, game day is only an hour and overtime is only 15 minutes. So two and a half hours is, you know, it took me twice as long. This time, however, it only took me an hour and a half. But in the same breath, I have to tell you that when I was doing game day, I gave it my all. I did my best. I did every move. Um, I think the only move that I was uh, a little bummed out on was the speed skating because I'm having it was hard for me to keep my back bent and bring my arms behind. I was, I was doing it. I think with like a B minus grade. So by the time I got to overtime, I was fried. And in overtime, you do certain moves where you get down on one knee, like you're about to propose to someone, and you just jump straight in the air, and you come back down, and you do this several times, and you do other moves that are like that, and you do push-ups where you're. Um, you're, you, you know, like you're squatting and running in place, and it's just, it's just so hard. And I'm, I'm actually not proud of how I did overtime today. But factoring in that I almost decided not to do it. Plus, also during overtime, I was going to stop the DVD probably five times. And again, overtime's only 15 minutes. But because I stuck it out, because I did my best, because I, I modified my moves. I'm giving myself a little pat on the back, and I know that this is the last time I'll do it in the asylum, but it's not the last time I'll do it, period. I may do the asylum again someday. I don't know, but I like a challenge. I like being able to push myself, and I want to encourage you guys to do the same. I see so many people get discouraged because they think their workout's too hard. They they, they lose speed. They, they run out of gas, and, you know, like, you have to remember, um, you're not in a competition you're not in some sort of a tryout on stage where you're trying to demonstrate to somebody how well you can keep up with Shailene Johnson and Turbo Fire, or um, you know whether you can do every kick and punch correctly in Les Mills Combat. You're doing these workouts because you need to get in better shape. You've made the decision that you want to do that. And the act of doing all of these workouts, whether you do them perfectly with an A-plus grade, or whether you do them miserably and you stumble through, but you're gasping for air and fainting and pausing and rewinding and redoing, or just standing there staring at the screen, 
much like it was the first time I did P90X on December 3rd in 2010. If that ever happens to you, as long as you're doing your best, you are getting the benefit of the workout. The workout is designed to get you back in shape as long as you're doing the right things with your nutrition and getting rest. So don't beat yourself up if you don't look like Sean T or Tony Horton or Shailene or Saji in the workouts. Do your best every time. I'm doing these workouts. I'm getting my ass kicked. But each week, or rather each time I do the next workout that is one I did maybe a few days ago, like vertical plyo or game day or speed and agility, I'm doing it better than the time that I did it beforehand, the week before. And when I say better, I don't mean that it's getting easier. If you don't want your workouts to get easier, if you're doing your workout and it's easy, you're not breaking a sweat. What you do want is your workout to challenge you. You want to be at the point where you're saying, you know what? I'm still here and I'm dying and I'm out of air and I'm gasping and I'm drinking more water than I can physically carry. But I'm going harder. I'm doing more reps. I'm lasting longer. Um, I'm doing it like that guy in the front row and not that guy in the back row of the DVD. As long as you're driving yourself to get better each time, as long as you're pushing yourself and not pacing yourself, as long as you're pushing yourself so that sometime between the middle of the DVD to the end of the DVD, you say to yourself, what the hell am I doing? I can't go on, but you still go on, then you're doing the best workout possible. And you know what's going to happen? If you are, like I said, eating right and getting enough rest and a few other important things, if you're doing those three things at the least, you're going to start to see results. It's not going to happen at the same time for everybody. It's not going to happen overnight. It may take one person three weeks before they look a little thinner. It may take another person three months. Everybody's different. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Do your own best. And you may not see the changes, but I'm telling you, if you do these workouts, any of them, for a few weeks, and that becomes a couple of months or more, you may not see the changes, but people you haven't seen very often are going to notice. So you need to be taking pictures of yourself, and you don't have to go around showing everybody, look, this is me with moves, and this is a picture of my fat tush. I'm only kidding. But if, if you're documenting your journey, at some point you're going to look at all your pictures, and you're going to say, my God, I've changed. Oh, my God, I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, the scale didn't move too much, but you know what? I can see now in my pictures that I was putting on muscle as I was burning fat. And and that's a wonderful thing. So I want to just tell you that. And I also want to say have a great Labor Day weekend. Don't forget, guys, have a great time. Do something fun. If you're going to have a treat meal, go for it. Do not have a cheat day. Do not take a whole day and just go nuts. If you can, do your workout before you go to a Labor Day party. Do something, eat a little salad, eat uh, something healthy, have um, you know some kale or something. If, if that's not your thing, open up a can of tuna, put some salsa on it, eat that. Uh, have it with some wheat crackers, but just get something in your stomach so that when you go to the party, you're not famished. But you know what? Moving forward, as this journey continues for you, you will be able to make smarter choices. You will be at a point where you can go into a room with a buffet laid out or a Viennese table with all the desserts in the world and you won't feel compelled to cheat because you're gonna know that it it's it's your successes that are making you move forward and each time you do something that tastes good on the lips for a few minutes it feels bad later on so do your best have a great Labor Day weekend I'm Coach Lou. If you have a problem, if you have a question, if you need an answer to something, if you're not sure what you're doing, you can message me at coachlou32 at gmail.com. Okay, peace out.